Memorial Day is just two weeks away, but winter refuses to call it quits in the Rockies. Snow fell in the mountains across Nevada and California yesterday. There are no driving restrictions in effect, but snow has fallen on several interstates. Boy, I pity these guys. Meteorologists expect the heavy snow to taper off later today. Now from the Channel 3 New England Weather Service, forecast first. Hi, good morning. Well, we've got some better weather back here for now. So the bad weather's out west. The good weather has returned to the east. And, well, for this day, it is a little cold outside this morning. No doubt about that. Temperatures are down in the 30s to around 40. And there's a little fog in a few spots overall. Overall, it's a clear morning, but there's a breeze still there. So the wind chill is making it feel even colder. But temperatures go for the low 70s this afternoon. Bright sun, blue skies, and it is going to turn out to be. It will be a gorgeous day. Short line in the 60s today. The bright sun and the blue skies and still a bit of a breeze. But uh, overall, uh, some near perfect springtime weather conditions. This morning, the temperature here in Hartford is in at 42. The dew point's 37. Humidity 82%. The northeast wind at 8. And the pressure at 30.16 inches. 41 Meriden, 38 at Torrington. Uh, got a call from Canton at 33 this morning. 40 at uh, Enfield, 39 at Stores in Waterbury, 43 at uh, Milford. You've got a wind there this morning. You can see it's in nine miles an hour in some places. So with the peak wind gust still up there at about 15 to 25 miles an hour, you've got a wind chill going. Look, feels like 29 at Stores and 32 at, at Waterbury this morning. Uh, so a jacket or sweater, a good idea, but you won't need it this afternoon. As clear skies are over us now and Clear skies in response to high pressure that's building down across the area now. Uh, you know, they had over an inch of rain in Atlantic City, New Jersey yesterday while we had the sunshine out. Uh, so we're lucky this high has come on in. It's going to take over along the east coast. Keep this action out to the west uh, and uh, overall just some great weather as we sail our way on towards the weekend. Normal high is 71, sundown at 801 today. Bright sun and blue skies and light winds and temperature this afternoon or lighter winds. And there's been 69 to 74, a little cooler at the shore. Tonight, clear skies, moonlit skies again, 38 to 43. Tomorrow, sunny and warmer, high near 80 inland, cooler along the shore. And the five-day forecast, 81 on Friday and mostly sunny, 83 Saturday and uh, partly to mostly sunny. There will be a front coming by Saturday night, early Sunday with maybe a shower, but overall that should not be a problem. We're up uh, perhaps near 80 with sunshine on Sunday too, Bobby. All right, thank you so much, Joe. It is 14 minutes past the hour. Making headlines this morning, a Bridgeport woman is behind bars for allegedly stabbing her boyfriend in the chest with a steak knife. 52-year-old Charles Newkirk died at St. Vincent's Hospital. Police say 46-year-old Patricia Prince admitted to the stabbing. She's being held on $250,000 bond. A Norwalk man now faces death for kidnapping and brutally killing his former girlfriend. Shanika Price was found burned to death in the trunk of a car on a street in New York City. Derek Frank goes on trial next month. A federal judge has given the okay for prosecutors to seek the death penalty. President Clinton reportedly has decided to impose economic sanctions on India for testing nuclear weapons. This, as word is just coming into us, that India has conducted two more underground nuclear tests. Meantime, the Washington Post is reporting that a U.S. spy satellite had picked up activity from India's test site six hours before Monday's blasts. But analysts responsible for tracking India's nuclear program were all home asleep at the time. Well, it is 6:15. NHL playoff fever is heating up, and survival is the name of the game. As Plus. the Wolfpack Ooh. take on the Ice Cats. <laughs> hi. Are you? Are you well, moving ahead? Like, oh, okay, there it is. Okay, hi. Okay. It's that yeah. funky prompter. Let's just <laughs> the Yanks in action. Joe Tessitore. <laughs> can't can't cover that one up. <laughs> Good morning, AHL playoffs. It was all on the line last night for the Hartford Wolfpack against the Worcester Ice Cats. If they won, they keep playing. Lose, it's summertime early. Brad Smith gets the wraparound, and then Dan Coutier, brilliant in net. 52 saves. Wolfpack live to skate another day, as in Game 7 tomorrow in Hartford. Your final score, Hartford takes it 4-1. to one. How about them Yankees? Burn, baby, burn. Bernie Williams, ice cold for the power stroke. But finally, last night, he homers his first of the year. Royals frustrated, getting tossed. Terry Pendleton arguing with the ump. Tied up at twos in the fifth. Then the squeeze put on. Joe Girardi gets it down. Chad Curtis races on in. Yanks would hold on from there. 
Three to two, New York takes it. Red Sox and Rangers, and oh my, what a horrific inning of baseball was the second inning for Brian Rose. One zip, Texas. Two zip, Texas, thanks to Lee Stevens. Three zip, Bill Hasselman's double. Fernando Tatis, four zip. And just for good measure, why not? Brian Rose gives up six runs in the second inning. And you know what? Folks, that's all they needed. Texas takes it six to three. That's all the sports for right now. I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great day. Oh, Joe, thank you. It is 617 before you hop in the car. Let's take a look at the roads. I got it this time. Mike Wallace <laughs> brings us a time saver traffic report. Good morning, Mike. Morning, Curtis. Morning, Polly, and the soon-to-be commuter. We're in excellent shape out here. No unusual problems to pass along. That in regards to accidents, breakdowns, or any other obstruction of roadway. Taking 91 either side, moving easily between Windsor Locks and Weathersfield. 84 as well, either side doing a good job of it, to and through downtown just to build a volume here and there. Route 2 merging easily with 84. Traveling along the shoreline, you get a good go of it on the Connecticut Turnpike. Brantford right down to Bridgeport and back again, 91 merging. merging. 295 without delay. With Time Saver Traffic, I'm Mike Wallace, Eyewitness News this morning. Thank you, Mike. It is 618 on Connecticut's news station. A guilty plea from an East Hartford man accused of molesting children and possessing an illegal weapon. Also in our next half hour, the saga continues with Willie B, the fruitful gorilla, will explain. <laughs> <laughs> and a law student from Trinidad and Tobago has a new title this morning. After the break, we'll introduce you to the new Miss Universe. But first, let's take a look at the lottery numbers this morning. Midday three, six, four, and six. Midday four, eight, one, three, and two. And your nightly numbers, seven, nine, and six. Connecticut play four, zero, one, eight, and seven. Connecticut lotto, two, 12, 34, 38, 40, and 41. Cash five, six, seven, 17, 21, and 22. Mass Daily, 4, 8, 0, and 6. And your Mass Cash, 5, 23, 24, 25, and 27. The late Princess Diana tops people in the news this Wednesday morning. A new book says Princess Diana had an abortion during an affair with a married man. In The Real Diana, author Lady Colin Campbell says the princess became pregnant by a London art dealer two years before she divorced Prince Charles. Campbell claims an Earl's daughter, who was a friend of Diana, told her about the abortion. Elton John is single again. It seems the singer's relationship with his longtime manager and friend, John Reed, has hit a sour note. A London newspaper is reporting that the two are splitting, get this, after 27 years of working together. And from the sounds of things, the breakup is not too friendly. Hmm. There's talk that Julia Roberts has tied the knot again. The lucky man is Law & Order star Benjamin Bratt. According to reports, the two were spotted over the weekend on an island off of Italy, a popular resort area for honeymooners, by the way. However, a spokesperson for Robert says the two are not married and they're not even engaged. Universe 1998, Miss Trinidad and Tobago! And there she is, the new Miss Sing Universe. It. <laughs> no thanks right, so. Okay. Wendy Fitzwilliam from Trinidad and Tobago. The 25-year-old pre-law graduate is the 47th Miss Universe. Fitzwilliam cited Audrey Hepburn as a role model for beauty and grace. Miss Universe is taking home more than $220,000 in cash and prizes. First runner-up, Miss Venezuela, followed by Miss Puerto Rico. Mm, she is beautiful. She is a very nice-looking lady. 23 <laughs> minutes after the hour, not that I noticed. Well, that's politically news correct. Station. And the hottest selling drug in the world is in the middle of a discrimination controversy. We got the details on the health beat. And consumers don't have to worry about their long distance service being changed without their permission. We'll have the latest from Washington. Hey, good morning, folks. I'm Nancy A. Board, live in New Haven, clowning around with the greatest show on earth. We'll add animals to the mix if I come back in just a moment. <laughs> Plagiarism is on the rise at some colleges thanks to a little help from the internet. Websites like cheater.com, cheatfactory.com, and a1termpapers.com all claim they provide research material only. But kids can definitely get more than just research material. For example, need a paper on UFOs? Just go to braintrust.com, copy it, paste it in Microsoft Word, change the fonts and add your name, then print. It's that simple. 
but it is also high-tech plagiarism. If caught, students face expulsion and the violation can stay on their transcript for up to three years. Willie B has done it again. He's become a father for the fourth time, barely a month after the birth of Willie Jr., by the way. Mm. He is the newest offspring at the zoo, born uh, at the Atlanta Zoo, rather, the 10th born to Willie. Oof. 10. Oof. 39 year old Willie B is the oldest reproducing male gorilla in captivity. I would go ahead and say he's probably the oldest reproducing male. No. His days as a dad are not just over yet. There's one more. Another one? One more. Oh, my goodness. On the way. Okay. Willie B's a bad man. Yeah, and he's <laughs> the one that doesn't need the sexiest Viagra, prime, right? Yeah, sexiest mm -hmm. primate alive. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and check on the. I'm we not even going yeah, let's there. Just yeah. leave that one alone. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Mike. Wallace. Willie been busy. We're busy out here. Well, not really. We're in excellent shape so far. A little busy volume in regards to building volume. If you're traveling through the uh, capital city area, 84, a little bit of company around the 384 and change. All moving at or near the posted speed limit. To and through downtown Hartford, 91 following suit route to an easy ride into the merger with 84. Traveling along the shoreline, no unusual problems on the Connecticut Turnpike. To and through New Haven, 91 merging without unusual delay as well. With time saver traffic, I'm Mike Wallace, Eyewitness News this morning. What do you think Willie's eating? Ah, yeah. something. 27 minutes after the hour in Connecticut mm. News Station. In our next half hour, questions remain unanswered this morning about a man that's found dead in an early, elderly housing complex. Also, I had a possible conflict of interest. After Ray Allen pays a visit to the Hartford Police Department, new details at 6.30. And we'll take your rink side for a look at some stars on ice who skated in the Hartford last night. You're on Connecticut's News Station.